Welcome to an Elder Ring video. I am the Data Wizard and I'm glad you're here for today's video. I'm going to comment on a few different fights I did as a cooperator helping others be Commander Nihal as a sorcery build. I hope this is interesting and helpful to others. If it is, please like and subscribe. I'm showing my stat sheet in case if that's of interest to others. I will list the stats I used and the items I used in the description to this video in case you have questions. And let's go ahead and get started. In case it was interesting to anyone, this is where I leave my summon sign. I found a lot of success in leaving my summon sign here. There's other places in the area where you can leave your summon sign, but I've had a lot of success in terms of getting relatively quick summons by leaving my sign right here at the base of these steps. For this first fight, I'm helping Amira, uh, who summoned me from the void, and this was a random summon. Just give a little bit of a fist bump into the air. Amira gives me a bow. How nice. And you'll see here, it looks like Amira also summoned another Furl Finger, uh, Derry. So now we're going to be doing a three on three fight, which I'm a little skeptical about initially because for every cooperator you add, it just adds more HP to Niall's counter. So it's always a little bit of a wild card when you see another cooperator join you but we'll see what happens with this fight here so we're going to go in and then i'm waiting for that i'm basically just spamming that there we go let's be in and then we're just going to power up our anime laser right off the bat and all three of us are using comet azure at the same time which is a beautiful thing to see oh look at that beautiful spectrum of light let's see if we manage to one shot it actually i'm curious because usually you can't one shot and i all with Comet Azure when you're doing cooperator fights because of the big HP buff that Nial gets. And sure enough, even with all three of us doing our laser at the same time, we're not able to one-shot it, but we still get the win very quickly. So there you go, this one strategy. All three of you use your laser at the same time, and then we'll do a little bit of a celebration dance. We get her 22,000 runes and a rune arc, and in less than a minute. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. And now let's move on to the next fight. Let's see what we got going on here for the next fight. I'm going to lay down another summon track here, and then we'll see who we get. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions about strategy or anything like that, I'm pretty consistent with the strategy I use throughout this whole entire thing in terms of just laying down my blast and then my anime laser, and then I drink the physic which then gives me the MP boost to keep spamming it pretty much nonstop. So let's see who we get. And we got summoned to help Thiago, and they look like they're ready to go. I tried to emote, but uh, very quick, they were ready to go. They're ready to rock and roll here. We're just going to have the two, which I'm really excited about because uh, there will not be as much health as there would have been if there was another cooperator. So... Let's see what happens here. I'm going to do the same strategy. I'm just going to straight up just use the anime laser and hope that I get a good blast on him after I drink the physic that gives me basically infinite MP for 10 seconds. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. And the boss mostly stays centered. One risk with this strategy is that sometimes the other person will draw the soldier away or Nial away from the center of the laser, I'm not able to get like a full blast. Oh, and that's exactly what happens actually. There was enough of a draw away to where Nial won the chase Thiago instead of me. So I was not able to get a full blast. So this is an example of when this strategy can be very limited when helping in cooperator battles. It works really well when you're solo, but not as well for cooperator. It's also why I don't lay down Terra Magica when cooperating because that means less time spent focusing the laser. But here we have a good backup strategy to beating this boss if you don't do the magic anime laser of death. And that is to basically keep throwing uh, rock slide at it, which is good for stun locking it. I also will occasionally mix it up. I'll occasionally use the moon spell as well, Ronnie's Dark Moon, because I get a buffer to the hat. But in this case, we got away with just using the rocks because Thiago was very good at drawing aggro and being very inconsistent. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to transition very quickly to me laying down another symbol and we're going to get another fight going on here. Let's see who we draw next. Up next we got summoned to help Manway and we got summoned right at the top of the stairs and Manway is like we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go right for it. I'm like all right let's do this. 
same strategy. We're going to open up with a big ammo laser, and I'm going to hope that Commander Nial does not get distracted away from my laser. And yeah, we're able to get down to good help, and that's a good strategy by Manway, because Manway just literally led the other night into my big ammo laser, so thank you for doing that. And we got a huge chunk of health off, down from Nial. And as a reminder, I don't lay down Terra Magica, the booster, because it runs the risk of not getting the full blast if Nial gets aggroed away from me. So again, that's why I don't do Terra Magica, and then we're going to do the same strat as before. We're just going to keep spamming those rocks, and we even got a stun because Manway is joining in for the fun with also spamming in Rock Slide. Good job with the, with the lead-in, and another very quick victory. Oh, we even got a little bit of an air mid-air thing going on there that was great beautiful and there we go another cooperator help down and very quick too very quick order nice job manway proud of you all right let's go to another one i'm just gonna do a very quick transition to another one here so this is an example of where this can go horribly wrong in this case i make one quick mistake and that is, I forget to switch my anime laser. So if you do this in a big chain like I do, make sure you're summoning the right spell right out of the gate. <laughs> so that was mistake number one. But the really big mistake here is coming up. So Joe's rolling around and he's dragging the swirly knight right next to me and I don't change strategy. <laughs> I don't move and it's too late and then I just get brutally murdered. So if you do this strategy over and over again, make sure you're watching for that in case of the furled finger or host of fingers accidentally unintentionally brings one of the two spirits in your direction and then you're able to dodge. Be better than me basically here. Alright, so we have another two for one cooperator set as we're helping out Leo the Ronin. And let's see how this goes. Again, with two extra people this is going to really boost up Nial's health quite a bit but let's see what happens here okay we've got multiple sorcery and then a blood melee build going on here so let's see how this works out uh good i lived did helos live okay helos lived okay good i forgot whether helo survived or not and then helos is still drawing a lot of aggro so that's good Nial's health barely went down though and I think a lot of that has to do with just two different help here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adapt. I'm going to try using the moon instead because we have two different people drawing all the aggro. And the moon, especially the dark moon, is boosted by my witch hat. And it also weakens it to further MP attacks as well. So that's why we're doing the moon instead of the rock slide. Though I'm kind of debating whether the rock slide is still better or not. I don't know. I feel like I need to run more tests. Run this boss another six or seven times maybe. But there we go. A relatively easy win. Despite a little drama early on. And I'm glad it worked out despite the fact that we had the extra cooperator and the extra boost of health there. And glad that worked out. Good job everyone involved. And we got summoned to help Jodan, who immediately blesses us, or maybe it's the other player, uh, Jeter, that, or Jeter, sorry, Jeter that blesses us. I can't really tell, but we're getting blessed, which tells us we're rolling with at least a partial faith build, maybe a complete faith build. We'll find out. They're both dressed up like knights with swords, so let's see what this brings. But we're going to stick to our guns and use the ammo laser. This time I got bored and I decided to try Terra Magica just to see if I can get away with it. And I did. At least for now. Let's see if we still get away with it. Let's see if we still get away with it. As I actually forgot whether I get away with this or not. <laughs> I recorded these all last night. So, okay. We didn't completely get away with it. Um, the enemy aggroed him just enough away. So we've got to switch strategies here. And fortunately he's only partially down. So... This is probably going to be a slightly prolonged fight, but we've got, it looks like two different melee heavy users here. Okay, right, yeah, they're both running into their swords. We're going to go back to just using Rock Slide, because I wasn't too thrilled with how Ronnie's Moon ended up working out in our favor. as Like, it didn't work out as well as I thought it would. So we're going to go back to Rock Slide. And things are going pretty well. There we go. No stun lock quite yet. Again, this is a protracted fight. But this often what happens if you summon two different cooperators at the same time. Even though it draws aggro in two different directions, you just give Nial just so much health. 
so much health. So I really recommend trying this with just one other cooperator to start with and see if you make progress in that regard. Because once you summon two more, unless they have some really boffle way of doing it, then that does work. Thankfully, I managed to somehow survive that attack. I'm actually really surprised I did, even with my boosted stats. And I survived yet another attack. Holy moly. I forgot just how bad I got butt whipped in this fight, but thankfully I managed to survive. And then at this point, I'm get frustrated. I just, I think I just pulled out the, the, the Scarlet Rot Breath just to like try to speed it up a little more <laughs> and as you can see the health is now ticking away so that's another strategy you can try too is scarlet rot breath if you're if you're running into some issues there oh we got it just as uh judder died but that's okay we managed to succeed and good job to us and good job judder judder hopefully still got the benefits because if you managed to get the fell just as you were dying as a cooperator typically you'll often get the benefits and that works out and then for our final skirmish, we have the Broken One who has the Rune Arc symbol next to their name, which means they have boosted stats, and we also have a third Thorough Finger. I don't even know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not going to try, but they look like they are heavily armored and ready to tank, so we're going to go ahead and happily shoot our laser forward and see if we can get that down right there. Oh, it looks like uh, Bad Spirit was trying to invade... Uh, is that's a hot spot for people trying to invade, cold invade. But as long as you run into the boss, you can usually avoid having to worry about that at all. And I guess I went back to the moon. I've sometimes I'm very inconsistent like that. I like this moon spell a lot. It's one of my favorite spells in the whole game. I just like the concept of throwing an entire moon at someone. I can't resist, even if it's not always the most effective choice. And we're just going to keep going at it from there. Oh, yep, and then sometimes I'll even set up Terra Magica if I feel like I'm able to turret like this. So that way I get the extra boost right there. And Boom Shaka Laka, that actually seems to help out a lot. So, note to self, Terra Magica more often if I think I'm not going to move too often. And what a wonderful easy win. And again, this is going to be the last fight of, of this video. Though, I just want to say uh, thank you to a few people. Thank you to my Patreons that are listed here for your support and for your kindness. Please consider subscribing to me on Patreon if you like this content and want to encourage me. Please also like and subscribe this video. That's also incredibly helpful. Please comment below if you have any feedback, any suggestions, any ideas for future videos. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.